Hello again, I'm Lucha FM bringing you another episode of Fight Club Pro on TW 2020. Um, where you left us off last, we were continuing to book the title reign of PAC. Um, and also we're on the constant lookout for new stars, especially in the women's division. The women's division is very bare for actual top workers. Um, so I'm trying to basically give as many women tryouts as possible to see if they're any good. I've signed a lot of wrestlers. I've got three matches in the pre-show coming up on the first afterburn taping with 30 women all together to see if they're any good. I want to try and find a decent dance partner, as they say, for Jetta, because we are we are not we're not doing well when it comes to having decent work women workers to work with Jetta. Or actually, scrap that. We can't have Jetta at the moment. She's apparently on maternity leave. But Gulia is our women's champion at the moment, and we've got to try and find decent women's wrestlers to work with her. Hopefully, I've signed quite a lot of Japanese women's wrestlers, so we might be able to find one or two that are good. So we'll just see how it goes, really. But I'll be back in a sec with the first afterburn taping. Right. Oh, there we go. Right, so I'll just quickly go through. So we've done these here, this on here. I won't tell you all the women's wrestlers' names. We'll be there all day, but you can have a look on your screen on here. I think the no noticeable ones are Sexy Star, who remember from Lucha Underground, uh, Sarah Lee, who uh, in real life is no longer with us, but is for some reason on this database, so I've decided to use her, um, and that's it on that one. And then we got this women's one as well. I'll just leave it on here for a second. Um, Family Apache may be the one that that's most noticeable here. I don't think there's anybody I know of, but maybe some of you Japanese women uh, women wrestling fans might know. And then this one as well. Um, I've heard of Rebel Kel and Ray Lin. Um, obviously, um, what's her name? Where is it? My, my Saruga, who was in AW for a bit. Um, but I think that's it, really. So that's that. So we've booked these, and now we've just got to book the other matches now. So I'm just going to do, to start the show, I'm going to do a four way tag match. Because I think I've brought in some, um, if I remember, I've brought in some wrestlers now to actually have a decent tag team roster. So. We're going to give put the cult in there. Um, Disciples of Destruction. Gates of Destiny. And we'll put Showstoppers in there. Uh, previous discovered that... Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting. I need to split them up. So we'll put the Butcher and the Blade. Because I've signed the Butcher and the Blade. I completely forgot about it. Um, this is what happens when you go a week without playing a game. But yeah, so the Butcher and the Blade. That's bugging me. I need to give a photo to the Blade. And why is, why is the one called Butcher but not The Butcher? And then the other one's called Blade and uh, not called Blade and called The Blade. That's bugging me as well. So where is he? The Blade. There we go. So we're going to assign him a photo. There we go, like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to rename Butcher the Butcher because it will play up my OCD. Like so, um, yeah, so that's that. So we'll go back to the booking now. At least, there we go. It's not going to bug me as much now. Right. So we'll do an angle afterwards where we'll have the but the blade fight in the butcher fight in and then we'll have them fight Khan. So it'll be like a, a big brawl after the match between the two big tag teams, big guy tag teams, and then we'll do like um a match with them afterwards, like next next episode maybe. Right, so what we'll do now is we'll do a Another tag team match because I want to try and get my tag division up as best as possible. We have got British Ambition, which has got packing, but he is obviously... Um, that's annoying. I'll sort that out later. Right, so we'll have the tag champions defend their titles. We've got a new tag team called the New Heavenly Bodies. They might be good, they might be rubbish. We'll soon find out. 
uh, Riot Act? Who are they? Oh yeah, Azrael and Azrael and Alex Colon. So yes, yeah, so if I've if I've signed a few wrestlers and you don't realise I've signed them, then don't worry about it because like I say, I go on these signing sprees and then I forget all about. Them. And also as well, it would take me forever if I started telling you all the wrestlers that I've signed. So it's best just uh, let me tell you as I'm going along. Tag team. And then we'll have tag champions retain them. At some point, I will take the tag titles off Nathan Martin and Darren Kearney. Um, but I just I need to find some other tag teams first. Should we go? We'll go steal the show, see if that helps in any way. Uh, okay, right, let's try 15 minutes. That's fine. So we've got some 48 minutes. We're going to do a main event now. And what we'll just do is we'll do a... Uh, we'll do a free versus free versus free match. We'll do Pat and... Um, what's his name now? Joel Redman. And then we'll have him... We'll have Edge with them. And then what we'll do is we'll have Pretty Deadly and who else? Wrong one. Uh, who else? Um, sorry, I need to get rid of that. There we go. That's what was confusing me. Mail. Should we go Anthony Henry? We'll go Anthony Henry, see if he's any good on this database. He might not be. I've signed Davy Richards. I completely forgot when I signed him about what happened recently, so he won't be wrestling. I will be releasing him. I, I, it just come up on there, and I, I completely forgot. So I need to get rid of him in a minute. So I apologise to anybody that offends. I completely forgot about him recently being an absolute scumbag. Um... I think who else? Right, let's have a look at tag teams again. So we'll go Dino Hearts and Joseph Connors, I think. So hopefully this will be a decent match. It just depends on how Anthony Henry does. So we'll just leave it like that. And then we need to do it. Uh, we need to take that down by two minutes. Actually, we need to take it down by five minutes. There you go. Sorted. Right. Right, so the pre-show match got 49, which is actually better than I thought it would get. Um, let's have a look who the stand-up form was. Tomoka Inaba with a 60. Riza Sarah with a 59. And uh, Yuna Misa Mori with a 59. The rest were just absolute pants. Waka Chisuka Yama was okay, I suppose. And so was Alexandra Blake. Alexandra Bale, but yeah. The other one got a 52. That's, not, that's quite impressive. Um, Ami Mora with a 45. Did, oh, there we go. Here we go. Haruka Yumieski, 70. So we need to put her in a match with Gulia. See how well she does in a one-on-one -on -one match. And then the rest were a bit pants, really, to be honest. And then this one got a 50. I'm not looking at who wins because it doesn't really bother me. I'm just trying to find out who the best performers are. Uh, best worker in this match was Nadi with a 59. Ram, Kate Joe got a 57, and then the rest were a bit rubbish. How did my Sagura did? My Saruga did only got a 36, so yeah, so she's not very good either, which is a shame. The tag team match, um, the first tag team match of the night got a 74 rating. Oh, the Blade's terrible, and butch and the Butcher. Oh, that's a shame. Um, Scotty Davis with 84 and then 87 for Kid Like Us and the rest were not very good. I, I forgot to have a look who won that one, sorry. Right, so more than the hype, retained their tag titles, got a 70 rating. Uh, as you can imagine, Kearney and Martin were the standout performers. The Carino, the new Heavenly Bodies were rubbish. Um, so was Riot Act, they weren't very good, neither was the Dirty Blondes, but I suppose we're just going to have to make do what we've got for now. And then in the main event, it got an 80 rating, Edge and British, British Ambition won the match. Um, 
Pack got an 82. Anthony Henry, Henry with just a 24. Oh, my God. Uh, Joseph Connors with an 85. Thomas Billington with an 85. Oja Hart did all right. 49 did better than I thought he would. Anthony Henry seemed off his game. Would have caught my... I mean, duh. Um, got a 74 rating, which ain't too bad. We didn't increase the popularity there. We got 200 people in. So not too bad. So the one good thing about that is we found another possible good women's wrestler. If it takes me to hire 30 wrestlers to find one good worker, then so be it. That's what will have to be. Um, the rest I'll just have to try and hope that they get better over time. So, but yeah. Um, right, we've got some opinions. Mayu Anasaki is turning into a good worker. She's worth getting behind. Okay, so we'll try and push her a bit. Alex Colon is clumsy. I'd cut him before. Okay. Well, I was probably going to cut him and Azriel anyway, so that makes it easier for me. 0.01 again, but we've got more viewers this time. 4,415, which is good. Right, and I need to get rid of Davy Richards before I forget anything else. Get rid of you, you despicable man. Yeah, sorry I signed him, everyone. Like I said, I completely forgot. So many wrongings on, on, in wrestling lately. It's just ridiculous, isn't it? Um, sorry, I could be doing this offline. Right, I'll be back in a sec with the next show. Right, we're back with the second show. Afterburn, I've done some three versus three versus three men's matches to try and give some debuts for some of the new male uh, signings we've made. Uh, standout ones is probably Anthony Bennett, who was briefly with WWE on the, I think it was the Cruiserweight Open or whatever it was called. Uh, Atlantis Jr., who's the current real-life Ring of Honor TV champion, I think. So that's that one. And then there's this one here. Um, Charlie Dempsey, who I think might have wrestled for us before, but I can't remember. Fandango, uh, Fuego de Sol, and um, Hello Wicked as well. People remember. Shakara, and then this one. I oh, know that's the one I showed you first, and then we've got this one here. Um, Hetcher Zero, who's in AW and CML at the moment. Icarus from uh, Shakara days. You got um Obi Oba Oba Femi, who's obviously doing really well in next team real life. Jake Christ, uh, Madman Fulton, Joey Janella, and Matthew Justice, who is GCW champion somewhere i think i could be completely wrong on that one so that's the pre-show sorted and then what we're going to do is going to keep this one simple because we want to try and get the best rating possible because lately i feel like i've been slacking a bit when it comes to trying to book the best matches so what we'll do first is is this so we'll have more than the hype versus uh I'm thinking maybe the thrillers, but I don't think the database rates them very well. I'm thinking actually the Midnight Ravers, Rich Swan and Willie Mac. I think that would be a good match. Fresh match as well. We haven't done this tag team match yet. Do that. And then what we'll do is we'll do still the show. Hopefully. Um, there we go. Right. So that's that done. What we'll do afterwards is we'll do Rich Swan fighting Willie Mac fighting and then Nathan Martin selling Darren Kearney selling. So we'll do like a post match beatdown. I didn't want to click on that, go away. Stupid mouse. Right, there we go. So that's that one done. Um, so now we're going to go with a women's four-way match, I think. And we'll have Julia versus um, Haruka Yamasaki, who did really well in that 10-woman match last time. And then who else do we put in there? Who else have we got that can actually be good enough? Valkyrie maybe, Shotzi maybe, um, 
just trying to go up the list as quickly as possible, see if I can find someone that stands out from what I remember, but I don't think there's anybody here. By the looks of it, we're kind of screwed, so we'll go Valkyrie, and then we'll go, I'm going to go Santana and Garrett, just see if she's any good. Right, Valkyrie's furious, but she'll just have to get over it. Uh, to make it up to her, we'll have Valkyrie attack Gulia after the match. Because what I'm thinking is Gulia versus Valkyrie for the women's title. Oh, actually, I think I think uh, the current women's champion is actually Valkyrie. Oh, it is. So I need to change that then. Uh, so we'll do that. So yeah, Valkyrie's the current women's champion. I thought it was Gulia, but I think I changed it last week, if I remember, because Valkyrie was moaning. Right, so we've been 49 minutes. We've got about 16 minutes to go. So what we'll do is a one-on-one -on -one singles match. We'll have Pat versus Edge. We'll go 15 minutes for the world title. The heavyweight title, sorry. Uh, Pat retain it. Open match. Um, we'll go storytelling. Right, just gone slightly over. So what we'll do is just knock that a minute off that. There we go. Jobs are good in. We're ready to start the show. Right, so Ace Perry. Aero Star Jr. and Andy Brown won the three versus three versus three match. Got a 57 rating, so I can't imagine anybody who stood out. Uh, Aramis with a 71 though, which ain't too bad. Maybe he'll do better with you know better match. Maybe him versus Pack or Nathan Martin at the next show. See what he's really uh, like. Aero Star Jr. is terrible. Um, Andy Brown's okay. Uh, Artemis Spencer's okay. Carter Bravo Jr.'s okay, and that's about it really, the rest aren't worth bothering about. Right, in the other match we had Charlie Dempsey, Colby Carino, and Curtis, Cur Curtis Murray win, sorry. Got 52 rating, let's see who stood out. No one, they were all not worth talking about. Um, so yeah. Right, the next one got a 60 rating, and it was uh, Hechisiro Hiroshi Yamato and Hokoto Omori that won the match. Got 60 right in. Um, who was the stand up performer? So Madman Fulton got a 68. He was the best worker, followed by Hotoko, uh, sorry, Hokuto Omori. Um, Aperis got a 62. Joey Janet got 61. The rest were just rubbish. How did Oberfemi do? Oberfemi with a 39, yeah. I think we're just going to have to play the long game with some of these and hope that they get better over time. So the the, sh the match to kick off the show properly was a tag team title match. More than hype defeated the Midnight Ravers. It got an 82 rating. Um, Mi Willie Mack was the weak link of the match with 52, but the, the rest of the workers were really good. Nathan Martin being the standout performer. So that's good. The angle afterwards got a 65, which isn't too bad for us. And then the four-way women's match, Valkyrie retained the title, and that got a 78 rating. Guli with an 81. Haruka Yamasaki got a 69. Valkyrie, 81. Oh, at least Valkyrie's stepping up again now. Fair play. Um, I think that's the best in-ring performance she's done. And then Santana Garrett, unfortunately, with a 39. So I think, like I said, the storyline that we've got at the moment with Guli and Valkyrie is the only storyline we've got, I think, at the moment, but it's doing well. We're, we're mixing them in there with other workers, try and get them. So we can't just do it as Gulia versus Valkyrie every match. We have to mix them up a bit. Um, but yeah, the angle <coughs> afterwards got a 67. And then the main event, Pack retained his title, got an 80 rating. Pack with an 82, Edge with a 73. I feel like Edge gets a 73 in every match he does, pretty much. But yeah, no popularity change. Overall rating of 78 and 200 people turned up. So pretty box then. I think we basically did the same that we did at the last show. 
And the last show, we were just trying to just throw people out there. So, <clears throat> anyway, I'll be back in a second with the next Afterburn episode. Right, we're back with the next show. Um, what we'll do is we're not going to bother with the pre-show. We're just going to get on with the main card now. So we're going to do a one-on-one -on -one match. We're going to do Nathan Martin versus Edge to kick off the show. And we're going to go steal the show, open match, all that match. So hopefully that will help the show greatly. And we'll do Edge attacking Nathan Martin after the match. Only because it just keeps them happy when it comes to that side of things. We'll do Darren Kearney versus Rich Swan in the other match. We'll do uh, Darren Kearney on the mic, Rich Swan on the mic. We'll have that as a pre match angle before the match. Now, what we'll do is we'll do. Davy Boy Smith Jr. versus Kid Lycos 2. Have that one. And then that's that, really. There yeah. you go. So, 83 match rating. Uh, Edge with the typical 73. Nathan Martin with an 85. Match got the show off to a strong start. Nathan Martin beat Edge as well. Angle afterwards got a 73. The angle for Darren Kearney and Rich Swan got a 72, which is really good for us when it comes to angles. 96, Jesus Christ, 96. 96, everyone. Oh, my God. I think, I think we might eventually need to pull the trigger on that tag team split because I feel like Darren Kearney versus Nathan Martin uh it would be a really good match but i mean look at this 96 that's the best rate that's the best match rating we've ever had Darren Kearney and rich swan have excellent chemistry so wow and the main event was a bit disappointing <laughs> in comparison um kid like us won um 79 rating overall the show uh, if it lets me there we go Right, we've increased our popularity in one region, which is the first time we've done it for ages. 81 rating overall and 207, 207 people turned up. So we might need to do Darren Kearney versus Rich Swan at the, the big event coming up um, soon enough. And we'll give them a bit more time, I think. And I think we'll try and do it as a, a still the show match or something like that. Because that's just ridiculous, 96. Um, cheating divorce, here we go. Anthony Henry and Amber Young are divorced as the former was caught cheating with Shotzi Blackheart. Okay, so Amber Young and Shotzi Blackheart now hate each other. Have I got, have I got Amber Young on my roster? No, so I don't need to worry about her. Okay, might have to get rid of Shotzi. No, I'll leave it, I won't bother getting rid of Shotzi. How did Afterburn do? 500, no, sorry, 5,146, which is really good. That's probably one of the best we've ever done. When is the next event? Uh, we've got Project White, White Wolf in 25 days, so we might not be able to do it in this episode. Um, we'll do one more Afterburn episode, and then we'll call it a day for this one. I'll be back in a sec. Right, we're back for the next Afterburn episode. So I think Darren Kearney is on a bit of a run. So we need to push him as a single star. So what we're going to do is uh, have him against Kid Lycos 2. We're going to go 20 minutes. We're going to have it as a steal the show, open match, all out match, this oh, decisive win. It won't let us put him in a match that long. There we go. We'll go 15 minutes. And there we go. Um, and then the next match we'll do is Edge 
versus Rich Swan because obviously Rich Swan was part of that great match as well. Love that. Uh, hope so. I need to change this because Darren Kearney needs to be the winner. Um, we'll do Edge beating down Rich Swan after the match. Right, so that's that, and then we'll do we'll do um, Valkyrie versus Gulia. Women's title. We'll leave it to the AI to do, and we'll do open match. Call out match. fine and then what we'll do is a post match beat down so we'll have Valkyrie fighting Julia selling to advance the angle we got enough for no we haven't got enough for the match so we'll leave us that 89 for Darren Kearney versus uh Kid Lycos 2 Darren Kearney won he had an 81 rating Kid Lycos was better though with 87, but it got the show off to a strong start. 82 rating for the match between Edge and Rich Swan. Edge won. Uh, Edge with his usual 73, Rich Swan with 85. Rich Swan apparently seemed off his game. Angle afterwards got a 76. And then the main event, which was Valkyrie defeating Julia, Julia, whatever her name is, um, with the. Uh, Apparently pinfall with the 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 Gula tone, whatever that is. And then she makes defense number four. She's got an eighty two rating. Right um, Valkyrie only got seventy five. Gula with an eighty one. The storyline advanced, and then the angle that ended the show also advanced the storyline. We improved, uh, increased our popularity in one region. Eighty two and two hundred seven people turned up. So it's a pretty simplistic booking method now. Put you know, book maybe three or three singles matches for Afterburn, do like one or two angles, make sure you pick your best wrestlers, try and mix them up as best as possible so they don't get complacent. That's about it really. Try and get Edge on there or Pack on there in, in every in every show. It's not it's not as simple as you think, but once you get the hang of it, it is pretty pretty cool. So right, on that note, this episode's coming to an end. But I'll be back on Saturday with another Fight Club Pro episode. And then on Sunday, I will have the ring second episode of my Ring of Honor adventures. So hopefully that uh, I appreciate the people that tuned in for that one. We got, I managed to get, um, I think it was 36. Sorry, my mouse. Saliva. Sorry. Um, yeah, 36 people watched my first ring of honor video which was really good so i appreciate the support from the tw community on giving my new series a try i hope that you'll continue to watch how i get on ring of honor and thank you to the people who have been watching the fight club pro series from the start fight club pro series isn't going it's not going to be phased out it's it's just gonna the ring of honor one is just going to run concurrent with it i'm hoping fingers crossed when tw 9 comes out um i'm hoping i can just transfer everything over and just carry on the save with the new game that's what i'm hoping for fingers crossed but yeah if not i'll just carry on playing tw 2020 for now and then start a new save on tw9 at some point but anyway right i'll be back on like i said on saturday i think i said on saturday with another episode of fight club pro thank you as always have a nice day all the best bye